If you use pay apps like Venmo for business, there are some changes to a recent updated tax form. The IRS has delayed the 1099-K tax form. 12 News consumer investigator Sarah Grinelli is here to break it all down. Sarah? Mike Kim, the IRS commissioner, said that the pause is to help smooth the transition of reporting the updated 1099-K tax form in 2024. There's some relief this upcoming tax season for those who do business on cash apps like Venmo, since the IRS announced changes to the 1099-K form. They don't usually have cash on them most of the time, so that is their way of like transferring it from their bank account to mine. Hairstylist Alana Capicaro says oftentimes clients pay their tips with their phones. Changes to the 1099-K form were baked into the American Rescue Act of 2021. That was supposed to take effect this tax season. I guess you could say we dodged the proverbial bullet here. The threshold for the 1099-K tax form was dropped significantly. Anyone who made more than $600 in business transactions was supposed to be getting this form. Instead, the IRS says the third-party platforms will use last year's threshold. It's still going to be $20,000 or 200 transactions. Greg Picaro, a CPA, says this is good news this year, but it is a temporary pause. Businesses and those who use cash apps need to make sure you explicitly say what you're paying for. If you're using cash apps to properly designate payments to people as either business or personal so that we get in the routine. And it is important to note that the 1099-K tax form is not supposed to track personal transactions like sharing a meal. Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.